Hi, I'm live. Good evening, everyone. I'm happy to be back once again for my live series interview on a twice a week uh, uh, time. For today, I'm excited to really have uh, to show you a guest who's uh, from the Philippines and she's from Cavite. And before that, I'd first to, uh, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Ellen and I'm from the Philippines. Mabuhay! I'm a mother of two growing kids, a finance professional, a proud digital business owner, and a business mentor. So tonight, as Tonight, it's nighttime in the Philippines. Of course, we have global viewers here. I'd like to say good evening, good morning, and good afternoon to wherever you are right now. And I'm really uh, praying and hoping that everyone's doing well and in the best of health. And of course, I hope that you will uh, have time for this really exciting uh, learnings and sharings to inspire you. Uh, of course, to live a happy daily lives from uh, sharings of our tonight mom, who is also a wife. A, I'd like first to uh, share with you the things I have prepared. It's going to be a little bit bigger. She's, of course, a wife, a mom of three. That's really a lot of, you know, um, lively kids. I'm seeing that in her post. And of course, she's a former corporate trainer, an online business owner, and a mentor, of course. And she's, of course, from Cavite, Philippines. So I'm really excited tonight because we are getting, of course, um, you know, stories from a mom who's, of course, uh, a dedicated mom of uh, three. So I'm going to open her to uh, be with us today and tonight to share with us, uh, of course, tips from this uh, mom uh, having her cute kids there at the side. How are you, May? Hi, guys. I'm doing good. Thank you, um, sis, for having me over. Of course, my pleasure. I'm happy to really uh, have this tonight with you. I see your kids really, you're really enjoying your time with your kids. Yeah. And I'd like to have, of course, a mom is always having a full-time duty, right? Yeah. So, Ooh, no course, rest. It, yes, with no rest. And no of rest course, day. I'd like, <laughs> it's 100, it's 24 seven. So True. it's actually as a stay home mom, we are full-time mom. So yeah. even if we are working, even I was work when I was working in corporate, we are still 24 seven moms to our children. So I'm really, of course, uh, proud to say that uh, tonight you will be helping us, you know, uh, get, give us some helpful tips on day-to-day uh, -day activities that you have. But before that, I'd like to say, greet first our viewers. And, you know, uh, I would also like to say, uh, Greeting first before I would ask you some questions <laughs> that will introduce you to them. Hi, Mabuhay. So I am May. I am from Cavite. So if um, you are from the Philippines, magandang gabi po, gabi na kasi. <laughs> but if you are watching from different locations, it probably is good morning or good afternoon. So thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you learned value from what we are about to share. Yay, I'm so happy, really. So, May, I'd like to ask you a question on what was your life, what was your life prior to joining this digital business? Well, I am really a business-minded person. So, I grew up in a, um, in a store. So, it's a retail wholesale store. That's my and father's business. So, I have been really grow, uh, I have been groomed to think about business. So when oh, I got married, really yeah. So when I got married, so I, when I started working in a corporate world, I still wanted to boost up because I really am a business-minded person. I would sell chocolates <laughs> in, in the office. You. Yes, <laughs> I would sell shoes in the office, oh. and yes, and then I would I would go to Liliu Laguna. So I would go to oh. Liliu Laguna, pick up. Is that um, near, right? Cavite Laguna, it, quite near. Near, but it's it's still far on three to four hours. 
Oh, it's still. Oh, okay, Lilio. It's not just Laguna here, right? Okay, no, got it. not it's the in Lilio. Lilio. <laughs> yeah, the Laguna, the the Laguna yeah. further part of Laguna. Yes, so yes, I would yes, go there yes. sometimes around um every other week or weekly <gasps> basis, and then um get shoes, bulk of shoes, because I have resellers mm-hmm. as well, and then dump it to them, and then and and then that's really would, interesting. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I do before prior to this. I also um, traditional business may yeah traditional business i would also have um chocolate so i would make um it i'll come i'll get boxes of chocolate from the supplier and then sell them <laughs> oh, really? so, yes i really love I'm to really, hear that really into business. yes i'm really into business but um before before becoming a corporate trainer i was because um I was an agent, call center agent, because um, I grew up in call center. I work in a call center for um, 11 years. Imagine how wow. long is that? 11 years. I started I as know. an agent. Yeah, I was um, I was supervisor and then moved as trainer and incorporated. So I moved my, it was like a ladder. I really went up. The last seven years, I was working at night shift. So imagine mm. night shift, imagine. three kids. <laughs> yes, three kids oh, and a side side business. That's quite tight, right? Yep, very tight. Oh, and that's, oh, oh, yeah. So that's, those are my regular, my routine for like. I years. could just imagine. I could just imagine. I know how people, because I was working, of course, in also in a corporate setup. I wasn't working in a night shift, but because of my work, I can also stay up we hours in the morning when I submit business planning reports because I do business planning for the company and I could imagine uh, those days those were the years I was still not having my kids uh, where I would still uh, um, stay up three o'clock in the morning five o'clock up to five o'clock in the morning just to submit reports and that comes during business planning uh, submission period which is basically what uh, like a month in a in a four quarter so yeah uh, so in a whole year i have a one month that i will be doing uh until we hours of the morning for submission so i could relate to that <laughs> but those yeah. become memories now <laughs> thanks god yes it is it is a memory now <laughs> thank you lord Uh-oh. Thank you, praise God. So what I'm seeing is actually, uh, you know, people will see that we are normal people, right? We, we are, are also, we do. We are yes. normal people. We are actually, uh, of course, moms like you are. You are a stay-home mom now. This I'm is, so happy. They, they need proof. This. <laughs> I know, I know. So these are actually like, you know, uh, our day-to-day lives are also normal. We are not just, when we say digital business owners, we are, of, of course, moms in the first place. So now that I see you being a stay-home mom, a former uh, trainer, and of course, a wife, and of course, having a digital business on the side, but more of, I would say, a stay-home mom. What can you give your us us uh, top three practical tips that we could Yay. use in our day-to-day life? Well, I would. Um, I do this like on a daily basis. Something that I really do in a routine. You have to start your day with prayer, with um, and connecting with God because that's the foundation of everything. So for you to achieve um, smoother day for you to achieve, uh, for you to be able to really go around your day, you have to start everything with that. So that's one. Second is work out on Gaia to exercise. Oh, wow. your- <laughs> yes. I would always start my day with workout. So after wow. asking is that daily? Day, is that yeah. daily me? Wow. Yeah. How long? Yeah. 30 minutes. At least 30 minutes a day. That's so really not, nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's, because I know that people can a lot more than um, 30 minutes in watching. So that means you have 30 minutes to spare for your body. <laughs> or TV. Yeah, right? True. And sure. So in the morning, I, I I know people who would wake up and the first thing that they do is grab their phone and then check social media. Oh, and I know that, oh, yeah, really? right? I know I, that's that's the, the normal. I said, why not spend that 30 minutes because sometimes you don't even notice how long you've been browsing when you're using your phone mm-hmm. right because you, you don't really That's time true. it 
Right? That's really so, true. So, so work out. Um, it's something Any that kind I kind of work I, out, right? I do. What my, specifically? My, I could have started with yoga. Okay. That's what I, I started it life before. So that was like a year ago. And then when the body gets used to it, it is asking mm-hmm. for, um, you know, longer and uh, more intense workout. So I'm now okay. doing yeah, high intensity. I would also wow. do strength, strength training. I mm-hmm. have, um, so this is what they're playing. I have the um, stretch band, something like that. I have dumbbells. Mm-hmm. Not really the, the heavy ones. So yeah, that's really this. Cardio. I really love to hear that. <laughs> yeah, so that and, and I, I also then, do that before because of my health. Before. When I was doing my work, huh? When I was doing my work, I was forced to do that uh, exercise daily because of my health. While way back in the corporate life. <laughs> and and this is, I think, the third one is. Um, Third tip that I would really give for everyone is to sleep. Because oh, I have, yeah, so, that's so yeah, nice. prayer to God, working out, and sleeping, to be honest, and in a daily basis, okay? If it's a practical, um, practical um, tip, so what it can give you on a daily basis, it's those three. Because um, three, uh, sleeping is something that I had never, um, I have not done, and for the past seven years because working at that shift and i admit that i can feel the difference of now that i am now back to um to the morning the sleeping because it, it eventually if you don't really sleep well you can you don't have enough um, strength and you won't be able to be your best so if you don't have enough strength you can get you're not your best and if you're not your best how are you going to give it and you cannot yeah. give something you don't have wow that's really practical right because sometimes yeah. uh that's really, really practical. Get good hours of sleep. And mind you, now with my age, I'm much, I'm much younger than you. <laughs> That's the opposite. I would say I'm much older than you. But I really I would say to my friends now in the digital business, my hours, my body clock change because I have to sleep a little bit early now. So I would say that before I could sleep, sleep really late. But now I have to have an earlier uh, sleeping time so it's because I'm getting younger <laughs> so, yeah. so I'm getting younger so I would say that I think now you have to as you said get good hours of sleep by honoring your body that kind of sleep you know it gives back to you it gives back yeah. to you but I really true, love true. the so it's more three of really practical really... tips it's... Because you're you're a mom, and as we mentioned earlier, there's really no rest. You're a wife, there's really also no rest. And aside from your children, you have a lot of things to do. And if you don't take care of yourself first, you, have, you cannot get some. Uh, you know, you, you won't be able to give um, enough for for your family and for your loved ones. Yeah, that's very true. And you have three kids. <laughs> These and are so active young. kids. Oh my yeah. God. You really have to, because I have teenagers now, of course, much older than they are. But when they were your the, your kids' age, I have to really uh, be energetic because they can just, you know, uh, they will really ask for your time. And of course, while I was working, even on weekends, I have to cope with the missing time that I had with them. Yeah. So even in my in my uh, weekends, I have to make sure that I can still cope with with their activities. So uh, I, I thank you for that uh, nuggets of your wisdom because we have we are moms, but we have different kinds of I will say daily activities, right? Daily oh, habits. Sure. And, when you say that you have to have, of course, prayers and then uh, exercise and then, of course, get hours of sleep, that's actually going back to the foundation of our health, right? And the health is wealth in itself. So, so yes. now, maybe. And we have proven that now in, in our yes. situation. <laughs> Health is wealth. You know, amount of what material blessings can compensate for that. Because, sabi nga ni, the, what they say is, 
um, wh what can you do if you are actually already one is sick, even if you know you cannot just, of course, keep on working, even at this point of our yeah. situation, we really have to prioritize our health. Like us, we still yeah. have younger kids. So we have to yeah. make sure that we have this top three tips in our day-to-day -day lives. So May, I'm so happy to hear that. What about the changes that you have when you join the business? Actually, there was a lot. I think I before I was thinking I'm really already a good person and everything. I have good mindset. I <laughs> thought I had. But when because I joined you're a trainer. Business, yes. But when I joined this business, I realized that I can do more. I mean, you can still do more. And you can still, um, you know, because because we have our training is really good. We have our weekly uh, mastermind that gives us, you know, different um, learnings every day, different, you know, um, ideas every day. And it made me realize, wait, I'm still lacking a lot of things. So it changed my mindset. It, I think I become... I, I hopefully I become more patient and I became more grateful. Mm -hmm. So it made me realize before that, you know, you are already ignoring small things because you were running after bigger things and you are what you mm -hmm. have, we ignore it. But when mm -hmm. I had this business, it's because it, um, it has a lot of, um, you know, a lot of information, a lot of training given to us, not just about the business, but personal, you know, training, it helps me become a better person. And, yeah, that's so nice yeah, to hear. Right. And then the business also made me um, realize that whatever we are doing right now, um, when we are working as um, as an employee, it's not really ours. We're working for for someone who actually um, owns a business. And we are working hard for something that we don't own. Correct. So, Taking yeah, control we, of your life. Yes, so we are working for something, for someone that at, at the end of the day, it's not really yours. <laughs> so it, you know, now I am realizing, yeah, why have I been working like really hard and it's not even mine, <laughs> right? It's not yeah. even mine. They're like taking control of yourself now. Yes, I, that's something that I, um, I appreciate what this business has brought us and made us realize that I can own a business and I can work hard because it's mine. And I can um, work on a business not, not only for short term, that means it's also going to give us um, results in the long term. It's not only for today, but it could be our legacy and something that we can give our to children. our children. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This, <laughs> they are clapping your hands because <laughs> that you're doing the future you're, they're doing the business for them, right? So yeah, <laughs> I, I know, of course, people might be surprised why we are into this business. And you even leaving your corporate uh, job. Of course, it took, like me, I said, it took me years, of course, before I moved and transitioned to this kind of life now, a stay-home mom. I was working for more than 20 years. That's more than, what, 25 years in the corporate life and you can imagine the the lost time i had with my kids yeah uh, you know the mile the key milestones i had but of course i said I, I i i thought and i was even telling my my friends in the digital business it, had i known this business before i could have not gone to corporate life already right back then. But, true. but of true, course true. but of course, as I said, God right. has a timing, right? God God makes yeah. his plans. And I wasn't saying I wasn't grateful for what I had. We are grateful. And of course, it we helped are. us where we are at this time. Yeah. And of course, now is another, what, chapters in our life, in our lives that we are actually having this kind of opportunity. So I know that for those who are actually... Um, you know, uh, watching us, we are actually moms and we are, of course, parents who have, who were also once working moms and now transitioned to become uh, stay-at-home moms. And of course, there are still people who are still working at this time. I'm even saying that I think more than still, more than, uh, what, 80% still are working people. 
who are just making this as their side hustle or what another income stream so it's actually not bad to still have this business on the side even yeah, because if you are possible. still working yes it is possible um we have amazing system that allows us to do that Right, but I was still yeah. working. So when I started this business, I was working a night shift, and I don't really have like twenty four hours to look at something to to manage mm -hmm. a business. But this business allowed me to to um to work, take care of my children, and then the business is running on its own. Yeah, so, yeah it's so actually do doable, that. right? Yeah. It's very doable, and I would say that of course at the end of the day, uh, this is something that is uh if this story of our mom stay home mom may of course resonates with you guys just check on our uh, website you can see that in the screen i will put it in the chat box there later if our story resonates with you so it's really my also because now i'm already also stay home mom my advocacy also is really helping um you know parents still working their nine to five job their night jobs to transition eventually because you know it also takes planning right it also takes planning to transition it's not just as easy as to we, we have seen this kind of opportunity and i want to stay home with my kids and tomorrow i will just get off my job it's not that easy wish we are able to do that but we are not going to be advising in that case to do the same right because it's actually something that has to be planned over time. That's why we are, we are of course, um, giving this kind of, uh, you know, uh, opportunity. If this is, I would like to really help people who can transition to the stay home mom setup or dads, for example, because uh, I would say that the benefits, of course, of having one of the parents staying at home is actually, I would say, um, really outweighs the the you know the financial gains um i still know a lot of people still having of course their corporate life both of them and they always asking me what I, i'm so i always envy you ellen because you're now staying at home and i said it was actually a decision you know it's 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 not it's not like true, yeah, true. there's always a choice and it took it, it wasn't like an overnight decision right it was like a, a decision that was of course we prayed harder to go into this decision and at the same time we took this opportunity when we saw the business so i really am so happy to have today uh, may uh, tell us about her story and how she was doing her uh, digital business while having her of course, being a stay-at-home mom. So, May, what are your words for our viewers before we say, uh, you know, good night? Because you have your kids with you, <laughs> they might already be going to be resting soon. <laughs> so, my tip is, if you are a working person and you feel like you're too busy to start a business, then um, you're correct. <laughs> if you're doing it in a brick and mortar way. Right, but if you are going to jump on a business, um, like digital business like ours, it's possible. It's possible for Ella. It's possible for me, and it's possible for thousands of people out there. Then it's also possible for you. So if you're watching right now and thinking, "I don't think I can do that," I can. Then don't worry because we have um, systems, trainings in place that you have control over. So you can control this, um, this, um, your business, and you can do whenever you like to. You can plug and um, start and run the business whenever you feel like doing too, because that's your business. And this is the beauty of having digital business. It's not um, it's not dependent to um, a physical location, to an employee, but you. It depends upon you. So try it, and you will not regret. We have um, parents, mommies, daddies. You are very happy and contented with this business, and you wouldn't know it until you check it. Oh, thank you. I know, I know that's a lot of words and advice for our, you know, viewers and our, of course, followers. It's really easy to, to see that we're okay doing okay. 
But of course, at the end of the day, as you said, it's a decision that you have to take. And of course, we will not be forcing anyone. It's actually for those who, uh, whose, you know, whose lives also are, our lives are resonating with them that they can check it out and they can try it because it's, as May said, it's doable because there are there is a step-by-step -step training. You don't need to be tech savvy. You don't need to be even having knowledge in the business. And of course, all you need is really a decision and a what an attitude to really change your lives for the better. So I hope those who are watching us now are of course um, doing so in their respective homes because we would now be uh, making our good night to all our viewers because of course our guest has of course a children that they can also be resting but would like to say thank you guys for watching and taking your time and for those watching replay we will put the our uh, link on the chat box and we just had our uh, live webinar free info session today we can check the replay in our chat box and of course uh, uh, if you are of course uh, you know interested and able to see uh, wants to see what we are actually uh, thousands of people raving about check it out if this story resonates with you so have a safe uh, afternoon evening and morning guys and stay safe and well love and blessings Bye for now. Catch you soon on the other episode Bye. of Life Interview Series. Bye, guys.